And then when I fish is back, I think we're back with a bang this time, I think, in eight's episode before we introduced the guest. It's probably going to be controversial, but that's what I like. Just a bit like Jordan's airline. Uh, before we dig into that, Jordan's going to give a sponsor a wee shout out as he does, so fire away, my man. Sponsor this week's Allied Maritime Solutions, uh, ran by my good pal Aaron Boyd. Um, they're the best in the sector for anything maritime related, cleaning, safety, anything you need, and he's a good ex soldier as well, so get in touch if you need in. Tonight's guest is, is no stranger to the podcast interviews, and he's not shy, which we all here respect. But went through a dark, I think the whole world went through a dark spell. Like, a good few years, every single, it doesn't matter, we don't need to say what it is, what happened, we all know. Um, the night story is going to shine a bit of light on what's happening now, I'd say. It's out there, it's in the public, and we're all, we're all affected by this one or another, some, some more than others. But tonight's guest is, um, well, we'll just call you Alex. Um, but yes. I think, uh, as I say, it's, it's no, no secret to who you are and what you're fighting for, and we're way 100%. So, before we get started, Alex, how are you doing? How's your how's your heat? How are you getting on? It's been a busy day. I've actually been out more today than I have been since Christmas Day. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, last couple of weeks, I had, a, I had an issue with the, the sealer on my prosthetic leg, and I put all the muscles going to visit my daughter, and then a week later, I fell down the stairs, not tripped, and whacked my stump as well. Mm -hmm. So I had a couple of weeks of recovery and had to go today uh, to Westmark, which is a prosthetics department, to try and fix the seal. Mm -hmm. uh, these are held on by a seal because um, the seal kept breaking, which is no fun mm -hmm. if you're walking across the busy road. <laughs> uh, I took two steps and my leg came off. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it, it sound, it's funny now when you laugh at it, but at the time, it does not give you any confidence. In the middle of the road, you go, they go back, they go forward, or they just fall down. Was that you in that video climbing that wall? Well, it's all right, he's just, his legs came out. <laughs> I've been saying that a few times. Um, I wouldn't have had to wear a harness then. <laughs> That's the difference. Uh, so other than that, I, uh, it's been a busy day at a a long call with my lawyers a day as well and then obviously you guys have been looking forward to this all day to be honest with you um so yeah i'm i'm in a good place today uh can't say i was yesterday or the mm -hmm. day before mm -hmm. but it's day by day to be honest with you i, I think uh, that's the best way to take it and it's day by day, day. Hour by hour if need be minute by minute mm -hmm. as long as you get to the next one it's, if you're sitting well and everything that's ahead of you or what's been behind you mm -hmm. you're not gonna you're just gonna swim around in circles yeah so you've got to try and make a decision. I can't change what's happened. Nothing's going to fix that. Aye. So you either deal with it or don't. Mm -hmm. And I've kind of, I was brought up with a, that is what it is actually. That's what my mother's philosophy was. Mm -hmm. Anything happened in life, well, that is what it is. Mm -hmm. You either deal with it or don't. If you can't control it, you either deal with it or yep. don't. Call's yours, but it's still going to be there when you come back. Aye. Um. So yeah, have I dealt with everything? No. No, no, anywhere near it. I'll probably have to receive psychological support for the rest of my days for various things, not just the trauma, what happened, but probably, I'm going to be honest, the way I've been treated mm -hmm. since it happened is more of the impact. And that's where it really frustrates me because I'm the one person in this world with regards to where we are that can't be denied, refuted, or disputed. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting the grief that I'm getting, I've got the confidence to come back and say, I can prove it. Mm -hmm. There's millions out there, thousands, particularly in Scotland, that are struggling to get that diagnosis or even that statement. They can't do that. Mm -hmm. And that is really, really mentally the biggest issue. We've lost 16 people in the last two years, three years now, to, to unalived. Yep. And I'll do anything to avoid that mm -hmm. again. Yeah. Have I been there? Of course I have. Every day, there's not a day that doesn't go by that I haven't thought about how I couldn't be here. Mm -hmm. You know, as I said to somebody, I can think of 14 million ways not to be here, but I always want to be here. Mm -hmm. And the one is, in all honesty, is that I do genuinely think that my wife, my two children have suffered enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a limit to it. I can't fix this for me. Mm -hmm. I can try and make it easier for them. I didn't set out to be here. You know, I was, I left the hospital thinking I was the only guy in the world that was in this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And 
that lie lasted two weeks. And it wasn't a, a deliberate lie by anyone, you know, because they were told I was the first in the world. And when you are then within two weeks of leaving the hospital, find that there's at that point 235 people just like me. And now we're at 445 of the conditioned VIT, mm. which is V induced thrombiotic thrombothenia. Mm. Good luck learning to say that. Aye, I was just saying, <laughs> I don't need to say that here. Just call it VIT. Oh. <laughs> Easier, yeah. saves a lot of hassle. So that's basically what I set out to try and find other people so we can support each other. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's ended up here. Is this where I want to be? No, I want to sit in a corner and hide for the rest of the world, like everybody else. But that's not a luxury I'm getting. So, what, well, I think everybody, the majority of people that kind of watch are into podcasts, or, or I think everybody knows what's going on in the world. Social media is, shows us everything now, but without getting into it too much, just to let people know how the situation you're in now has, has happened over the last couple of years. How did we get here? You know what I mean? is like you were living a normal life until that these dark clouds came out of the world for a couple of years. Yeah, what's happened over the last three years in many ways, <clears throat> and not just with what's happened to me, mm. the whole world yeah. has been affected by what they've done. And if we go by what we knew, they knew then and what they told us, and now go by what we know now and what we knew they knew then and told us, mm. it's a total different... Mm. It didn't need to be like this. No. No, it didn't. I genuinely think that they saw an opportunity. Yes. I, I think they did say out today if it's happened. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I don't think anybody said out today if it's happened. Mm -hmm. but I think once it started. But historically, when you look back, I've got to go, well, maybe they did know. Mm -hmm. Because we knew that the, the mechanism that <clears throat> AZ was using to drive this particular thing caused massive clot and fatal clot and issues 24, 20 odd years ago. Mm -hmm. We've got the report from that and yet they still went ahead and did it. So you're kind of trying to say, well, did they mean it or did they not? My honest opinion with regards to the pharmaceutical companies, yeah, they don't care. Mm -hmm. Historically, uh, we can I go from thalidomide all the way through to now and look at all the scandals and it's all been pharmaceutical companies destroying people's lives and health and then abandoning them. And denying it that it that it happened to them. Right. You know, I find it strange that a company that's earned two hundred billion in profit in the last three years would rather spend four billion fighting what they can't fight. Mm. As it would be cheaper to fix the problem. Yeah. Yet they refuse to do it. Mm -hmm. So do I think, you know, I'm I'm at that balance point. No, everybody's evil, but certain people are. Mm -hmm. right. And certain well. industries are. And that, I, I'll never trust pharmaceutical companies. I don't trust doctors. I tell them that. I don't trust anybody anymore because I've been shafted, abused, libeled, you yeah. name it. You know, newspapers take your words and twist them. So that's why I don't do newspaper articles anymore unless I've got editors. I wish you'll see Miss Kim. I shouldn't have to do that. No, they're no, just spending the four billion a to fight it so they don't have to hold their hands up and say, right, yeah. it was me, uh, it was me. But is see the, see the PF company, are they not the most fine company in world history? Both of them are. Aye, are they? Both of them are. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, if you take the pharmaceutical company industry, the fines just in the last 40 year go into the trillion. It's scary, isn't it? You know, these people don't have a problem paying what, 455 million fines. Mm -hmm. They just pay them and go on and go on. They've, they've got a bigger legal system department than they've got a research department. I know, it's what speaks for itself. That, <laughs> that speaks volumes, doesn't Aye. it? Wow. Uh, yeah. If I had to sit and think about just how big and bad this was, I'd sit in that corner mm -hmm. permanently. But I've never done that in my life, and I don't see why I should start now. No. I've always been this type of guy. Yeah. I've always been positive. I've always had a certain standards, if you want. I'm an old mod, an old fashioned mod. I was, I became a mod when I was 17. Mm -hmm. I got into it when I was 13. I knew the whole punk scene. I loved the punk scene, loved the music, mm -hmm. but I couldn't get the chaos and the clays. <laughs> it just right. didn't work for me. And I was, I, 
and a band came called The Jam came along. Uh, and Paul Weller, buff. That like set that. my life. Mm-hmm. Um, I first started in the city in 1977. I saw The Jam live at Queen Margaret Union in 1977. Yeah. So they've been my band since then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was through then, you didn't have internet then. If you wanted to find who did a song, because the first album was all cover versions. Mm-hmm. So you had to go to the music shop mm-hmm. and all the rest of it, and you found out what Northern Soul, um, Motown was, and then Northern Soul, that's a kind of more a dance. And, and that led me down that road. And I loved the, the smartness. And the man I went to punk concerts with, a, three, with a, a, a black suit and a white shirt and a black tie and a parker. <laughs> no one ever got kicked up and doing it at every punk concert <laughs> or anything, but I did it anyway. And at the age of 17, I don't know what it was. It was, I always thought, I'm an old fashioned mod, three piece suit guy, mm-hmm. pocket watch, all the gear. I've got an old classic scooter, no mirrors. No mirrors. Old style, mm-hmm. very old style. He's to their own, but that's my style. And I thought, well, see if you're going to dress to that standard, should everything in your life mm-hmm. not be at that standard? And mm-hmm. I decided to set my moral standards, ethics, and principles to a level that I think. Yeah. And if I stuck by them, I think I've done no bad. Mm-hmm. You know, I've got to the age of 59 and I've, I was up to this happened to me. I was the most content, perfectly happy guy in this world. Mm-hmm. I'd go to that place that mm-hmm. I was looking for when I was 17. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd go, the ideals, I was married, I was happy, I had a job I enjoyed, I had my passion, I had my scooters. I was out four or five nights a week. Mm-hmm. My wife never saw me. Now she can't get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> and... I set those and I've stuck by them and that's what's kept me going. I will not sell myself short. I don't see why I should. No, you come across as a very, very proud person. You, very you, proud you, of what yeah. I am. And I think that's the way. But Matt, I thought everybody was going like that. I swear what I was about to say. I, 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 I can't believe the amount of people that aren't that and, and they don't don't trust themselves, they don't have belief in themselves to fight and you are clearly standing up and no. fighting for what not just for what you believe in, I think for what's right. right. That's what it's about. It's about what's right. Mm-hmm. They did the right thing. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. you asked me to do the right thing. And I did. Yeah. Now that it went wrong, I need you to do the right aye, thing. Aye, aye. Yeah. And the fact that, you know, I'm not alone in saying that it took in excess of 10 months to get basic state benefits. Mm-hmm. The fight we had to get that, the fight we had to get the, the VDPS from the government, was beyond disgusting. At the beginning, I came out of hospital, nobody tells you nothing. So you're, you're home and you've got nothing, they don't tell you where to go or nothing. And my daughter said, I found this thing called a VDPS. I think you should look at it. Mm-hmm. And we looked and we applied on the 29th of April. I never heard anything. What, was, what year it? was it? 29th of April last year? Uh, 21. 21. 21. Um, so I applied for this because this was what I was getting told. And I got a letter on the 2nd of June stating I had to prove that it was most likely caused by the V. Yeah. And that I had to be at least 60% disabled. It used to be 80%. And if it was 80%, I wouldn't have qualified. Mm-hmm. But it's changed to 60%. Mm-hmm. And I thought, dead easy, isn't it? Mm-hmm. No. It would may take some time. So I waited, f- what, six weeks? Phone the only number that they gave you, which was a voicemail, That's and left a message man. every week for four months. The same message, my name, my address, the claim number, and could you give me a definition of what some time is? Because legally it's three weeks. How, so how many people drink were having to do that? How many people drink just geed up? That's well, what I mean. here's where we are. There was two people employed in that department at the time. What, for the whole of the country? For the whole of the country. Jesus. That rolled on to November when eventually I lost the plot and contacted my MSP, who was absolutely fantastic. She agreed that this was ridiculous. We needed some. Sent a letter. They ignored it. She sent another letter. They ignored it. She sent a letter to the chief executive officer. Mm. And at that point, he came back and said, oh, we don't have it because they transferred it for the DWP to the National Health Service Business Authority in the November, December. Mm. I phoned him in January. No, I phoned him in between Christmas and New Year. And they told me, we've got your medical records. That's fantastic, something's moving. So I waited and waited. And then in, I think it was late February, I phoned again. 
to be told, oh, we're just about to apply for your medical records. And I said, hold on a wee minute, you told me in December, mm -hmm. my medical records. So we ended up with a whole investigation into that. Lo and behold, that's when I ended up receiving a letter from the CEO of that, who is actually a sir, who lied. He said they contacted me to update me, when the reality was, I put a tweet out mm -hmm. in social media mm -hmm. saying I'm fed up. This yeah, is what, the false story. And they contacted me via social media. Mm -hmm. I'd have been quicker just going on to Twitter in the mm -hmm. first place and yeah. saying, this yeah. is where we are, and mm -hmm. saved myself seven months. Yeah. Um, you expect them to do the right thing, but don't you? Like, you're going through all the right avenues and channels, you expect them to be fucking yeah. prompt. Like. Uh, but if you go through all the right avenues and channels, then they, they feel like they've got the right just to ignore you. As soon as you right. tell the wider public, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, fuck, we need to next day mm -hmm. say something here and the ridiculous thing is this whole scheme that was set up in the 70s in the last 20 years had two and a half thousand people maximum putting a claim in before the mm -hmm. last three years yeah see if we go the last three years but over nine thousand people in the uk that believe that this has happened because of the v mm -hmm. and that they're more they're 60 percent disabled nine thousand people in three years it makes you, it makes me question why there's even an argument because <clears throat> figures don't, don't just jump like that for for no reason. And I know there's an argument. I know people are saying, "Oh, here, there's a lot of shit." There is people out there that say that they don't deserve any entertainment whatsoever off anybody. But I don't know how you can. They start kind of you kind of just jump like that out of nowhere and know, somebody to stand and argue with somebody about that. Do you know what, what I mean? I think I think two words. It's kind of best like see conspiracy theory see them two words over the last three years obviously whatever that's going on it's mm. it, i think that's been made to discourage discredit sorry oh yeah stories. i've been labeled uh an anti-vaxxer a conspiracy mm -hmm. theorist no. a liar a grifter no. you name it you know um and you're just strolling through god mate i'm just a mod i <laughs> just a mod <laughs> well here's my philosophy if you've got something to say to me and you say it to my face, you'll get the respect half of me that you deserve. Yeah. If you want to say it behind my back, mm. I've got no time for you because you ain't get the balls to come and stand in front of my face. Mm. Yeah, but I might turn and shake your hand and say, you're right, 100%. Aye. I might break your jaw. I'm sure call to come <laughs> in my face and talk to me. <laughs> I don't care. I, you know, no, no, yeah, I'm a scaffolder. That's, that's fair. fair. You see what, what I am Aye. is what I am. Mm -hmm. Aye. I don't, I'm no, I don't want to bully people, mm. but I'm not going to sit and take crap off anybody. Aye. Especially when I know I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the biggest thing, you know. People label you. I was in a, I was in a band. Mm -hmm. And every anybody that's into music or plays music will always say that the cover of Rolling Stone magazine, that's where you want to be. Mm -hmm. I made it to the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, it was a picture of me in my wheelchair <laughs> down in London <laughs> with a big sign saying <laughs> or AZ mm -hmm. kills. They called, they printed that and said, I'm an anti-vaxxer and a conspiracy theorist. Thankfully, the time ban on libel, there isn't one. Mm -hmm. I will deal with Rolling Stone, yep. but I've got a few other people that I want to bring down first, mm -hmm. like the UK government for what they've done mm -hmm. and the level that this has went to. Certain government ministers who took a personal issue and made it personal, I will see my, my one out of that individual as well. Mm -hmm. We know who we're talking about. Aye, aye. Yeah. I don't think it needs to be a winner. And I've got a few other people that will go <laughs> after that. But it, I've got this priority is get me help and support. You give me the proper help and support, I'll disappear. Mm -hmm. Aye, that's fair. I mean, as you're saying, what's happened's happened. You just want, the answers are there. You just want them. And I, you want, you want. I just want you to help yeah. me. At least apologise for the fuck up that's been here because yeah. it is a massive fuck up, isn't it? I wait to look at that, isn't it? Well, in three years, I've not had a counsellor, an MP, in any way, shape, or form. Not one single person said, Alec, we're sorry this has happened to you. Mm -hmm. no. What they've said is, that can't have happened. Mm. Or it, we don't agree with it. Has happened. Happened. You know, and this mm -hmm. is a shite that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. what, does it, what does it matter to them? They, they, don't, they don't even need to mean that when they say it to you. Do you know what I mean? They can kid on that's came for their heart when they back to say shit. Well, here's the thing. Do you honestly think any politician's ever going to stand in front of me now and say, I'm sorry? Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Because you know what the answer's going to be, don't you? Oh. Fuck Aye. off. Aye. Where, Aye. where have you been for the last three Aye. years? Not no. just to me. 
to thousands of people. That, and it's not, this is the heartbreak for me. It's not just one or two. If we were rare, as they call us, mm -hmm. then I've got nowhere to go and you look after me. But it's the fact now that we've got thousands, 9,000 people. Mm -hmm. 9,000 people that, that believe that this is what's happened to them mm -hmm. in three years. And that figure's only going to get bigger mm -hmm. and bigger and bigger. The problem we've got is that these novel therapies, for want of a better word, have never been tried before. They're sequenced. So they don't know what they're doing. Mm. That's the bottom line. They're using, they're trying to use the old sort of a processes and systems for what work. Now I'm, I've had every V since birth mm -hmm. and some that I didn't need to take for jobs that I did. Are they a val valuable thing? Of course they are. Mm -hmm. When they, they, they benefit both the society and the individual. The only person that seems to benefit is the profit shares. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know. No, you can't hide it. Even if you, even if you're no, you're not so much into it. I know people just like to steer clear of it, but everybody knows this. It's, it's mm. not a, it's mm. no secret here. Alex, I'm just trying to like see the. Can you run us through? Let's see the time timelines are obviously for you getting that first letter in. You're going for the V, and then getting it, and then your symptoms starting, and then ultimately ending up in a, a hotel bed with. <laughs> um, well, what happened was, if we go to uh, 2020, the whole country was locked down. Mm -hmm. The whole world was locked down. We'd been locked down once. Everybody, I was part of it. Mm -hmm. I thought I enjoyed it. I ain't going to lie. Same. I sat in my garden and enjoyed the sun. The well, second one... was the same. I had my daughter then. So my, my daughter was just born, so I was able to spend time with her. And I was I was quite happy with that. You grew your boobs a bit, you know, we were what? You grew your boobs a wee bit, we were eating you were doing I did that, I cake and all that. So, you know, so everybody enjoyed it, but the second one, after three weeks, we were bored. Aye. You know, I'm a busy guy. I've always been a busy guy. So suddenly sitting doing nothing <laughs> really was hard. Mm -hmm. So when the second one came and we were, we were told the scaffolders for some reason we would be working, I was delighted. So when we were working, up, I worked through the second one and yeah. obviously yeah. the year, bef year before we'd lost my mum through the height of 2020 and the lady downstairs who'd been neighbours for 20 odd years fell and broke her leg or her hip I think it was and was taken to the hospital and died with COVID. That put the fear into everybody. So we were all making sure, granted my mum had passed in the August, and they were showing you people dying in the street. Yeah, we don't need to go overall. So I, when it let her come through, was I worried? No, because I thought, we're doing the right thing. I'm healthy. Yeah. I, said, I don't need this. But I don't want the people. And I work with guys in building sites, so I'm not exactly the healthiest guys in the world sometimes. So you don't want to hurt some of them because some of these guys are older than you. Mm -hmm. And on the 20th of March, I went and did what I thought was the right thing. I uh, was told verbally, you might have flu-like symptoms for mm -hmm. 48 hours and your sight area might be sore. Other than that, you'll be fine. Near leaflet, nothing. I'll be event. If it was fine to the 1st of April. And the irony of that is not lost on mm -hmm. me. I was at work and I lifted our loading bay frame. It's supposed to take two people to do it, but if you're a scaffold on, mm -hmm. you've got yep. any, you can do it. So did it myself and I stepped back and I thought I'd pulp both calf muscles. That's what it felt like. Uh. I say to me, I, I pulp my muscles, mate. He's not. Oh, I say I pulp my calf muscles. It's not half two. What would you buy today? I said, let's just go him. When him had a bath, and that was the Thursday. Friday wasn't much better. Saturday was my younger, my oldest daughter's birthday, and I phoned her, and I was supposed to be meeting him. I said, look, I'm not feeling great. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. And the Sunday morning, fourth April, got up and felt exhausted, as if I'd ran a marathon, but better. Just finished ironing some clothes, being the old mod that I'm, I've got to be dressed the way I'm going to be right. dressed. Unplugged the iron and my legs just gave me. I collapsed. Oh. And I knew the minute I went down, something serious was going on. I don't know what, what it was, but something inside me told me to stay calm. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I was upstairs. My wife was downstairs in the kitchen with the door closed. And the only way down was to pull myself head first backwards down the stairs. So, yeah, that was a, a hell of a clatter. <laughs> <laughs> As I've hit the landing, and the, the first landing, she's come out, the living room, was wrong. And I don't know, to this day, something told me, you need to stay calm. 
I said, I need two things. I need you to phone me an ambulance and go and get my belt. I don't know why mm -hmm. the belt. I didn't know why the belt, but at that point I could feel something in my left calf. Mm -hmm. Didn't know what it was. Still no any idea. Too many war movies, cowboy films. <laughs> oh, <laughs> done the uh, Did it work? The no, you can see no. Uh, <clears throat> no, didn't work. Um, and the phone, the ambulance. I remember the ambulance, or the paramedics had the ambulance arriving. Because just before that, the, the heat, I'd never felt. I'm a, I'm a warm person. Mm -hmm. I can go to Greece in the middle of a heat wave and walk about. Mm -hmm. heat the, I love the heat. Mm -hmm. I never felt heat last in my life. There was steam coming at me. Jeez, oh. My wife says I stripped myself, ball up, mm -hmm. on the living room flares because I've got a hardwood flare. Aye. It was a coldness of the flare I was craving for. Um, <clears throat> ambulance came, rushed me up. Uh, I don't remember that. Con uh, ambulance trip at all, very little bits. The next thing I've came to, and there's a lady standing in front of me on scrubs, head to toe, and saying, we need to go for a CT scan, and we need to go now, and I have to sign it, and I put a cross. The CTs was still spinning, and she was, as, as I'm coming, she's standing beside me, we need to go to theatre, we need to go now. And I said, I take it, I'm in trouble. She went, yeah. I said, how bad? She went, the worst kind. Fuck's sake. Um, at that point, you still didn't know what it was. They took my two daughters into a room and my wife and said, we have got no hope. We've never seen anything like this. If he survives and it's a big if, it'll be for the waist up. If we can save him. We don't know what it is. I spent seven and a half hours in surgery having clots removed from my lower abdomen, my left leg and my right leg at the same time. Mm -hmm. I've got two huge scars at my groin. And I've come round after that. And this lady, same wee lady standing in front of me, and she said, you shouldn't be here. We don't know why you're still here, mm -hmm. but here you are, and here we hope you stay. And at that point, it still wasn't known. Uh, and at that point, she said, you know, we've perused your abdomen, your right leg, but we've got a concern over your left leg. That concern went from a concern to 15 minutes later, there will be an amputation. Um, I spent two week, a week in isolation at the height of COVID, so I wasn't allowed to see anybody. Uh, that's probably the darkest period I've mm -hmm. ever had in my life, to be honest with you. Uh, <clears throat> head must have been time. spinning. Aye, it's a mind melt. Um, cause there's, the, the problem is that everything goes through your head. Mm -hmm. Thousands of thoughts. I, I call it it's less cascade of thoughts, mm -hmm. and you can't grab one. Aye. You mm -hmm. can't grab one, you know, you're, you're not busy. getting the attention or the energy mm -hmm. to grab a thought and try and think, where did I go with this? Everything, you know, um, some of the random stuff that comes in the head, mm -hmm. I'll never box again. Mm -hmm. you're never got, you've only got to box again anyway because you're no. nearly six, you know, you're in your 50s. <laughs> you know, stupid wee things. Aye. Skipping, don't know why. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting in the hospital and I'll never skip again. It's the wee things that come in, you know, the serious <laughs> things come in as well. Aye, aye. But it's the wee things. And I suppose that's reality hitting you into it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to see you get a chance to process that, but you don't. Mm -hmm. There's a thousand mile an hour and there's so aye. much going on in between. Uh, and the drugs helped as well. Yep. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> see, I, I, can't <laughs> have one right I can't imagine what it'd be like to wake up for surgery. Because you go to surgery and you wake up, you're like, it's me, man. Sorted, thanks for that. They've been told, but well, we're going to have to take a leg off, so you're going to have an ass surgery. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know that, that, where that goes, it man. It must be like a weird kind of paradox as well, because on one hand, the organisation that's gave you the V, on the other hand, saved yeah. your life. Yeah. But it caused it, kind of. It's the strangest thing ever, because people say to me, do you trust doctors? And I go, no, I don't trust mm -hmm. doctors. I trust the, th the six hematologists that I speak mm -hmm. to yeah. and the three vascular surgeons. And one GP, that's mm -hmm. it. I don't tell them, don't take it personal. But anytime I've listened to you guys, the last time, this is what yeah. happened. Mm -hmm. So respect and trust is something you are going to have to earn with you. Yeah. Um, some of them do, some of them don't. I'm not any special. I'm just an ordinary guy who was just putting an extraordinary position in place that should never have been put in. I try to, I'm a scaffolder, so I talk like a scaffolder. So that means I swear and I curse and I use words that people don't want to hear. I don't apologise for that because that's just me. Right. Um, but I, I do talk to 
the, the, the medical staff that I do talk to, they people have saved my life in many ways. Um, the vast, uh, they say coincidence, coincidences and circumstances are what makes life. It's the coincidences that had they not happened, this conversation wouldn't be happening. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't been sent to Hermeyer's Hospital, I wouldn't have made it. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't got the vascular surgeon that saw me on admission, I wouldn't have made it. Mm. It's all wee things like that. Yeah. Um, had I not been at that particular hospital, it wouldn't have been the hematology team that they wouldn't have, because they did the other team hematology teams didn't know. They she had the, the wherewithal to say, "I've never seen anything like this. I need to go and ask somebody." That is very rare in the medical profession. Mm -hmm. And I can speak for experience over the last three years to that. There's an arrogance there that they need to learn. Just because you can read a book doesn't mean to say you're intelligent. Just because you can remember the book doesn't mean to say yeah. you're intelligent. Aye, I believe this is yeah, well. That. That's mm -hmm. where we are. You know, mm -hmm. I've met some very, very clever people who have got absolutely no qualifications. And I've met some very, very clever people with qualifications mm -hmm. coming out the rear. And I wouldn't trust them with a cat and a milk. Mm -hmm. Aye. No, was it, I, was, was it, I was listening to you last night and you were saying about the this university class and they were asked them what is three times four yeah, or something like that. That frightened the life out of me. Uh, I, was, I spend time on social media. This as is where I spend it. my time. As we all do it. Mostly it's, uh, it's Twitter or X because mm -hmm. uh, we get more of freedom of speech there. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying we get freedom of reach. There's a world of difference. Mm -hmm. Uh, TikTok's a totally different ball game. I've got to be very careful on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I watched a clip, and it was four university students being asked, what's <laughs> 30 times four? And not one of them could answer the question. Now, I'm sorry, but that to me worries me. That if you can't answer a basic arithmetic mm -hmm. question, and you're a university yeah. student, Where's the education system exactly. going? Right. Mm. I just want to clear this up. I fucking knew this was coming. What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh, <three. laughs> I, I was sitting, see when you mentioned that, I was like, shit, I'm going to think this, and he's going to go <laughs> at me, yeah. but is that sure? <laughs> don't, I was, I was wiggling my toes. Now, I know, really. like, please don't go anymore. That's the kind of level of dumbness. Aye. And it's not the kids' fault, let's, mm -hmm. let's make this clear. It's got nothing to do with no, I know. intelligence. Everybody, your name brighter than him or him. It just comes down to whether you want to be as bright as him. I'm, and not, I'm, I'm no, you're much brighter than him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much brighter than him. <laughs> 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 I've got a higher, so shut it. <laughs> higher. Higher BMI. I've got a HND a if fucking, you want to go there. He stuck a <laughs> blue tack to a wall and says it was a painting. No, I made a heart, remember? In a bag. Oh, that's right, he's... Art and design. Art and design. Okay. So I, I tell you what, see, see when you went to army and you went and done your education, how stupid are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's when you, that's when you realise school oh, is. Oh, what was that test you got? The you did a test Barry three times table. No, the Barry, tells you what Barry, you were. Barry is taller than John. Who is taller or something like that? Aye, what was that like test called? Barb test. The Barb test. That's what it was to see what you were suited for. And it was you could be good into the. You, you're going back around. You're going front aye. line. You're a dum dum. Aye, <laughs> or you're going to the engineers. Years, or you're going whatever. Aye, that I, was mad. I've that never test. military. I did when I was sixteen. I had joined the army, mm -hmm. and I was meant to go to older shot. The following week, mm -hmm. and the week before, I got an apprenticeship blacksmith, so I never done it. <laughs> and then when I served my time as a blacksmith, any trades then, the minute you served your time, you were out the door, because uh -huh. you don't want to pay your tradesmen's yeah. wages. I decided to apply to join the Marines. And that never happened for various reasons, mostly because they didn't want me. Mm -hmm. um, I, they asked me a, a side question. I'll not tell you where it was, and I failed it badly. Aye. And to this day, I still think I answered it right. Mm. After this, we'll maybe talk about it. You just can tell. <laughs> 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 but I, I agree with that. The, the, the whole education, I think it's crazy. You know? it's, I think it's forced. Mm. You're, you're tell, I think people are now tell what you're going to do for a, for a well, living as well. Are. I'm 59, I don't know what his years are. I'm going to get these are quite a bit younger, older, exactly. younger than me. And they only said older there. <laughs> That's because you were looking at him. <laughs> I'm the youngest looking <laughs> in this room. When I was at school, especially secondary school, um, when you were studying anything, you had to do an essay, if, especially like your English higher, you used to do an essay on something you'd read. Mm. You go to pick that book and do your own essay on it. Mm. Now they give you the book and tell you what chapter you have to write. Aye. Mm. Aye. How's, how's that then seen as Aye. being you using your intelligence Aye. and your lateral thinking, your creative thinking to get to a point? Aye. Aye. 
you know, I've n- that's where I have got a serious problem. Mm-hmm. Um, we were brought up to think for ourselves and to think outside the box because no everything's got the solution that's in your head. Mm-hmm. You'll get that, Aye, you know. Of course. Mm-hmm. It Aye. takes sometimes it takes three people working together to come up with the most blaringly obvious answer, Aye. but it takes a four people. To, so you know, these people need to be able to think for themselves. Mm-hmm. And you telling somebody what they're studying, what they're learning, what they're to say, and how they're to say it. Mm-hmm. To me, that, doesn't it? I, I, right think back to me I think you. teachers and tutors as well, or especially teachers, are they're getting to help. Well, I know there's teachers out there that, that go against the mould and, and they know that sometimes you've just got to think outside the box to teach when you have. But I think teachers are getting to help. this is what you're doing and you're going to do it. Well, here's, here's the, the point. Here's the thing, right? When have you ever used algebra since you left school? <laughs> Fucking, I can't count numbers, never mind count letters. No, I I, I don't get it either. I, I, I don't even, I, mean, I use a calculator a day to count my wages up now. <laughs> a day? I, I really do. I don't fucking use We're at that level. I mean, how many phone numbers can you say off your top of your head now? Mine, that's it. My same, and that's yeah. the only one uh, I know. And you never phone yourself either? No, 20 years ago. Uh, Are you I nervous? Give you about about 25 phone course, numbers uh, off the top of my head. Do you know, I can still remember... My phone number, my house phone number. You just didn't have phones in Pollock. I, I still remember my I still remember my dad's uh, Reggie plate and all. The if the Volvo. The one he stole that car he stole. Don't you think the best way for learning anyway is when you started getting a wee bit older and you started learning the what your weights now are when you started going out your grams and <laughs> <laughs> can he comment? <laughs> I'm a good boy. The same. Are you talking about the cakes you went and No, I eat enough thigh. <laughs> We were about to dag, we were about to go off and we are education, aye. But I, do you know, just before we we were talking about your um, the surgery and the, the clots and that kind of stuff, did you ever speak to the surgeon? I know you're saying you're still in contact, but the severity of the clots, because you see all these pictures online and they're horrendous, like masses of clot. Did they, have you spoken? I've not, I've spoken to the vascular surgeons and the hematologists. Um, I've spoken with other individuals medical qualified that weren't related to my case, Mm -hmm. undertakers, people like John Mm -hmm. Lou. These things are coming out of people. There's no no argument about it. What are they? Fibrous is the word that seems to be used a lot as if it's effectively a vein growing inside a vein. Mm. The problem we have is we just don't know. And we, mm. my answer to that is we need to get the people that created these things. Yeah. Get them together and say, right, you start backward working what you've done because mm-hmm. you know what you've done. You, everybody else is just taking a guess of where you're going. And it's it's our complex level. Yeah. When you're talking about taking a DNA cell and set, separating into vectors, you know, you're going down and down. And, Aye. and you're getting to, you're like, hold on a wee minute. We're changing things at a cellular level here. This has never been done before. And as you said, they must be able to go back with it. Get these must people to work away. on it. Mm-hmm. But, but mm. they won't because these people are earning some amount of money yeah. on the back of the death and misery mm-hmm. of thousands and thousands because that's where mm-hmm. we are. Is, is there facts and figures to say, like see the likes of a ton of their clots? Has there been a dramatic rise since this? I... Yeah. There is no... There's no denying mm-hmm. where we are with these things. There's so many conditions that it's it looks like if you've got a weakness in your body, it will find it. Mm-hmm. If you've got a different weakness, it will find that mm-hmm. different weakness. This is what it seems to do. Mm-hmm. Is it everybody that's at risk? No, because I don't believe everybody's getting a foul. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think there's, there's placebos. Right, okay. There's got to be because... Well, we, not, we can tell the batch numbers are telling us so much. The three AZ batch numbers are in the top four and the worst in the world. It's crazy, isn't it? It's yeah. fucking scary. Do you know, obviously the facts and figures are there to back up, but I mean, there's such a wide kind of spectrum of people who are speaking out on this issue, but you get whether like, people like yourself that's backed up with facts and whatever else, but you get people at the end of the spectrum who are just shouting. Try to be loud about it, and I think sometimes they maybe discredit your oh yeah your fight, uh, and some of that's deliberate. Aye, some of that's yeah. deliberate. You know, to try and dissipate for the message. So I'm very careful about the facts and figures mm-hmm. that I use. The facts I use are government's own figures. The data I use 
tends to be the government's own or irrefutable data from the leading expert mm. in their field. There's only so many times that you can say, you can say one thing and you can say another. People throw mud. We know there's a department of the UK government that get paid to attack people like me. Mm -hmm. We called them the 77th Brigade. They were a military unit, an intelligence unit. Mm. And they're still out and they're still going there. It got that bad that they actually blocked me because I kept calling them out. Mm -hmm. You try and dox me, I don't need, I don't yeah. care. I'm a ready, you know, you know, days going to anywhere in Glasgow and ask, some, ask half a dozen people where I stay, you'll find somebody who knows me, no. especially now. So I'm dead easy to find. You try and dox me. How can you dox me? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm open about where I stay. I'm in Camus Lang. I come from the East End of the Glasgow. I was born and bred, lived there all my life. You can find me dead easy. Mm -hmm. These people walk about with no names, no faces. I call them the no, no name, no face keyboard warriors. Mm -hmm. And they're paid or they're bots to attack people like me and try and shut us down and silence and get our, our yeah. account shut down. Mm -hmm. And I can name them all because I did. And that's how they left me alone. I did a bit of research. Mm -hmm. The thing is, anything you see online is there somewhere. You just got to find it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it doesn't matter who you are. So if you want to use those tools against me, I'll use them against you. I have nothing that I've done in my life to be worried about. I just think if something's try to, some there's people trying to silence something, I'm immediately drawn to it to say, well, why is it being silenced? Whether it's what we're talking about now or it's something else, or some one of the elite has been accused of something, it's, all of a sudden it's silenced. You mention it, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Gone, I click your it's, finger. It's tumbleweed. Just don't yeah. know why people can't. Everybody could turn around. The, the people are power, but... But we're not, we were. Well, that's where we are. Mm. I can do this every day for the rest of the days that I've got. And there are not as many as we think. And that's the reality. I've mm. accepted that. I've dealt with my peace. I wasn't, I'm not supposed to be here anyway. So any man, any time I've got, it's just an added bonus for me. Yeah. Yes. So for me, I'm not going to change. Mm. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing no. to you. Do you give me what I want, mm -hmm. which is proper help and support? Mm. That's not too much to ask for, but I don't know. Slope these things, because clearly now there's a major problem. Because it's not just DayZ, we've got PF, we've got M, we've got JJ. None of them are shown to be safe mm -hmm. or effective. Yeah. You know, until such times as you can prove to me that they are, I'll continue to fight that. Mm -hmm. I do not want a, a single human being to go through what I've went through. Not just the physical side of it, it's the trauma, the mental trauma. I, I've visited places that no human being should visit. Mm -hmm. Dark, dark places. And the thing about dark places is you get to enjoy them. Mm -hmm. You just don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And if I have to spend the rest of my days doing this, to stop one single person doing what I think they, they were yeah. going to do, then it's worth it for me. Aye. You know, the mental trauma, the, the darkness, how did I get through it? The best bad advice I ever got was, I was given psychological support by Thrombosis UK, it's a charity. Mm. They reached out to the VITS because the UK government and their guidelines recommend that we get psychological support. They don't geese it, but they recommend that yeah. we get it. Um, they reached out and he, the first conversation I ever had with me says to me, you need to remember something. You'll visit every emotion you can think of and lots that you don't right now. Mm -hmm. That's normal. It's okay to visit these places. Mm -hmm. It's just no good for you and those around you for you to stay in those places. Mm -hmm. And that's stuck with me. Yeah. You know, we will, it's all right to feel the way you're feeling. Just don't stay there. And by that, I mean... I know that I have to go to certain places sometimes and process what's in mm -hmm. my head. I've got to. That's the, the normal. It's, I'll, I'll no survive this if I don't. So, where, where do you go? But do, do you take yourself away into your... I just sit myself. Just go in, just go in about? 
Aye, I, and stuff. I just sit and think about what's in my head. Mm-hmm. Why am I feeling that way? What can I do about it? And, you know, and accept that it's normal for me to feel the way I'm feeling yeah. at that moment. You know, you're feeling the way you're feeling because that's the way you're feeling. Yeah. Did you ever feel that people were confused to why or how you felt like that or how you were in that place? Do you think, do you think it's as much as is the injury or the amputation or do you think it was the process of what you had to go through? It's put you there. Obviously, they oh. both play a factor, but as you said, you seem like quite a, you seem like a person that can get up and, and go for it and just crack on with your life. But I've always been, that is what it is. Uh, Pick yourself up, dust yourself off and start again. Do you think it's the process though of the, the trauma that puts you in a dark place or do you think it's the injury itself? No, the, 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 the it's the process of the trauma. Mm-hmm. Um, I've had three psychologists, two psychologists and a psychiatrist. One psychiatrist says he can help me. Mm. Not in a bad way. And uh, the psychologist is good and help me is the amputation psychologist. They said, you've got that in your head where you are. Mm-hmm. That's not your issue here. Yeah. And it is the issue. It's a trauma of what I've been put through by people that should, should know better. Mm-hmm. I don't blame the general public. Public or the public, you know, they jump on a bandwagon, they shout at people, they see somebody getting yeah. abused, they all jump on. I get that. I don't have a problem with the public. You might call me something on social media and call me out. Don't be surprised if I call you out back. Mm-hmm. And don't be even more surprised if I turn it to your door. <laughs> Aye. Aye. No, it you wasn't. Know, that's, I'm all for that as well. It's I, fair, fair in my eyes. It's the, the fact that the constant people in power saying safe, effective, rare mm-hmm. 20 million lives are saved this is a farcical thing three years ago the glib statement we would get for every politician in paper was the vaccines have saved 20 million lives um it's very rare and they're safe and effective where are we now we're doing it safe Aye. Yeah. you don't hear the 20 Aye. million thousand because mm-hmm. we, we disproved that there isn't any evidence that there's been any life saved by these vaccines mm-hmm. none we've tried to find it i've been looking for it for three years and believe me, I've been asking the right people. It's it's not available. No. So we know that they knew. It didn't even slow down transmission either, did it? No, it didn't stop transmission. doesn't stop you forgiving it. Um, there's more chance of you catching, because mm-hmm. it lowers your immune system, your right. immune system, and more chance of you catching something else than what it's got to save you. For else. All in all, this is the total opposite of what a vaccine mm-hmm. should do or a, to aye, protect you. Aye. Traditionally, it's always been, your body's been given mm-hmm. a, a small portion of it to build up your immunity. This was meant to stay in the, the deltoid muscle. Mm-hmm. Clearly it didn't. We now know it's bro- it breaks the blood-brain barrier, mm-hmm. which is why people have got so much, there's so many people wanting about the brain damage, not brain damage, but brain fog. Foggy brain. Not it's not horrible. Right. It's really, really horrible. Because yeah. um, what will happen is I did it earlier. What did I say there? Yeah. The whole conversation and the whole day disappears instantly. Mm. And unless you give me what I've said in the last mm. sentence, I'm not going to get it back. Mm. That's part of it. I just need to accept. I need to deal with that. I had that conversation with my lawyer the day mm. that I'm finding that I, I'm a words person. Mm. I wasn't always a, a scaffolder. I've always loved words, playing with words, messing about with words, writing words. Mm-hmm. They indif- get making You taking your words and making a whole different sentence the same words that kind of thing um and the even the the people that know me before this will say to me yeah there's a massive difference not i struggle a lot with certain i know what's in there i know the words i'm trying to say mm-hmm. by the time it gets to there sugar my hump fluff comes out no. and i'm like who <laughs> you know no. but you, you can either let that get to you mm-hmm. there's no point no. Because all it's going to, I can't change it. So you either deal with it or don't, mm-hmm. and it's that, that is what it is. That's a good thing, it's a bad thing. It's a good thing in the, that you're robust and you'll keep bouncing back and keep saying that is what it is. It's a bad thing, is because you end up bonding up this bag of trauma mm-hmm. that you're shutting off and shutting off because mm-hmm. you can't focus on that because you're trying to do the next. Mm-hmm. Who do I need to see? Who do I need to talk to? How am I going to get help and support? <clears throat> see, that all sits there. I was going to and say, at that. some point, I'm going to have to deal with that. See, if like your ultimate goal is to get the help and support you need, see if that happened next week, you think you would have a 
you would need to do a lot of work with yourself because you would need to sit down and you wouldn't be preoccupied with everything else going on. You'd need to sit down and fuck this actually yeah. happened. Yeah, basically, uh, um, as my wife says, 24-7 for the last three years since this happened to me, all I've done is focus and try to get mm -hmm. help and support. Aye. I've not focused on me. Aye. And in many ways, I don't focus on me and I probably cause my own rehabilitation problems. Mm -hmm. Because I don't see, what's the point in me getting myself to a certain level and I can't do anything? Really? I've got no money, I've got no future, I've got no job, I've got no hopes. Mm -hmm. You've took everything I had away from me. What is it I'm supposed yeah. to do here? You know, so no, I think I'll deal with this problem. Yeah. Well, we know I'm going to deal with this for the rest Aye. of my life. You can't, need, it's bad enough losing a leg, but you've took the abuse that you've took. Aye. You know, people have told me you should have died. We wish you had have died. Go and die. Aye. In many ways, I say it's a joke. I'm a scaffolder. You can't abuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm a human being. Mm -hmm. No, no. Ultimately, you know, do I have my moments? Of course I do. Mm -hmm. Of course I do. I've sat in that corner and fucking rocked back and <laughs> forward many, many a time. As I say, I can think of probably every day at least half a dozen ways I've not been here. Aye. But that doesn't do me any good. It, se it seems to be you've got a kind of you've got a good support network around you. You've got a good team. But I mean, even watching that. TikTok live last night. So I see he was feeling quite not defeated, but deflated. We are deflated. Yeah. Aye. And I'll tell the reason for it is the public can say anything they want. That's not going to change anything mm -hmm. unless the politicians listen. Mm -hmm. But when you've got the most senior politician standing in the house as a parliament blatantly lying Aye. and using the word safe, that's that's the second time he sent this message out to Aye. us. The first time, you know, it, it, when it was brought up, what are you doing to help support the vaccine injured and the bereaved? And his answer was, they can go litigate. What he doesn't tell you is that that's a civil action. Mm. You don't get any legal aid. There's very few lawyers prepared to touch that. And I mean very, very few prepared to touch it. And the estimated cost of trying to get legal retribution is estimated between 15 and 75 million from yes. our legal costs. Wow. He knows fine well, I don't have 15 to 75 million. So therefore the chances of me taking mm -hmm. the government they court on paper are slim. Aye. That has to change. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. They're the things that set us back mm -hmm. because we have, you know, we are now sitting canvassing MPs. The last person I want to sit in front is a politician. Of course. Mm -hmm. Because you're part of the problem. Mm -hmm. And where we are now, probably I could say there's maybe 30 out of the 650 in the, in the UK, you know, UK Parliament, and how many we've got up here. Probably about half a dozen who are now starting to think, will listen to you. Yeah. We've got the opposite up here. We've got MPs who think it's all right to put laughing emojis on posts about vaccine and injured and bereaved. That is horrific. Current serving. Yeah. Is that current serving people? Is that people that's serving in the, the government just now? Yeah. Aye. This is a servant MSP, MSP who thinks it's okay. For, and this has been going on since the 1st of April 2022. So for two years, this man's been doing this. I'll see my time out with him. Aye. Because he made it personal. Mm -hmm. It's never been personal for me. Do I hate Boris Johnson? I don't hate the man. I don't know him. How can I hate somebody mm -hmm. I don't know? Uh, is it safe to say... Is it safe to put me in a room with him mm -hmm. and a few other people? No. Of course not. No, it's no safe. Because I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. as a scaffolder, that's a different story. Aye. But that's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because the minute I do that, I've wasted everything I've tried to say. Um, not that I've set out today. That I've, that I've managed to achieve. Not that it's been very much. That's not what this is about. Mm -hmm. This is bigger than me. Of course, you've got 9,000 people behind you watching every move it's just, as well. That's just in the UK. Aye. I don't want to talk, you know, we've got Canada, Japan, Aye. Thailand, Australia, America, Germany, mm -hmm. everywhere in the world. Brazil, Brazil, God love them. Brazil mm -hmm. has been devastated by this. Aye. Yeah. What about yeah. China? How, is China? You don't hear much coming out of China, That's what I was wondering, aye. Uh, you it, was all, it was all in China at the start, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. They're busy anyway, so you know. And it just, again, 
quiet. Wuhan theory, mm -hmm. what happened? I can give you what I thought. I'm not saying what I know happened yeah. because I don't. My thoughts are, this was not created in Wuhan. This was released in Wuhan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that. That's, that's my thinking or not. Well, three weeks before it, a contingent of American scientists and UK scientists and European scientists were all there, all talking about the virus that's now appeared. And you do have to ask your question. For a virus that didn't exist to 2020, 2019, 2020, how come every single V was copyrighted and patented in 2015? It's when you look at these things, you go, hold on, that can't be right. They can't have had a solution for a problem that didn't exist right. five years before it existed. They were just all been guinea pigs. Yeah. That's an, uh, I think this was, this is a, a weapon that they were using it in some sort. Do I think that they intended it to be as bad? No. I think they thought they were just going to give people a bad case of flu. Uh, I, I genuinely think that. I can't possibly get my head into the fact that these people deliberately set to wipe out a population. Because if I go down that road, you're going down the whole real... Do I think there's a possible genocide going on? Aye. I'm struggling to, to get away from everything's pointing that way. People say it's a population control. Again, everything that I've learned over the last three years points that way. I'm getting hard to, to give up an argument for saying, no, you're right. You've got more going for your argument now than you had three years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think that they saw an opportunity to make money. They've made that much money that they cannot possibly backtrack. And that's including doctors, mm -hmm. especially doctors. Doctors got GPs, got £12.80 for every prescription they filled out for one of these. Because everybody had to have a prescription for this. And that's that's not even <clears throat> that's that's common knowledge. You can check. You can. I've seen that as well. That's the doctors earn sixty thousand to eighty thousand pound in one week down in London. Jeez. Just be sitting in a vac centre signing these. I, I, I've you tell me that guy's going to come out and say, "Aye, there's problems." Of course, no chance. But that's a, that's across the medical board as well because you look at uh, methadone. That's seventy pound a hit they get for methadone. It's as if they want to keep us on this string rather than yeah. get us better. It's farcical that the only reason I'm alive is because a rival pharmaceutical company's dogs are keeping me alive. That is a it's mind melt. You know, I'm only here because the drugs mm -hmm. that another company makes. Aye. And the problem I've got is that they're only keeping me stable. Mm -hmm. My PF4 antibody is still at 104 point something percent. It should be 96% negative, mm -hmm. by the way. Jeez, oh man. 96, 97 percent negative, mine's is 104 something positive, and it's not moved in three years. So all they've got is holding me stable. So what happens if my body becomes relaxed? You know. So I'm not well educated in it, but does that would that mean you're more susceptible to like sepsis and all that stuff if your antibodies are up? Because that's basically your body fighting against itself, isn't it? Um. Well, in my case, the what effectively I'm a 24 hour clock machine. Mm -hmm. I'm a petrol clock machine. What it does is. That is effectively, you've got red blood cells, white blood cells, hemoglobin and plasma in your blood. If you then go down another level, you're into your antibodies. Right, okay. And there's an antibody called PF4, platelet factor 4. It's negative. That keeps your blood the consistency. If there's too much oxygen, right. you'll die. If there's not enough oxygen, you'll die. For such a wee antibody that's insignificant, it's the most important thing in your blood, believe it or not. Um that has been changed positive. That becomes a problem because that 96% is your body's defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. So when you bang yourself and you bruise, that's a clot. Right, okay. And your brain switches it off. Mm -hmm. A clot is effectively when there's a problem when the clot won't, Aye. the bruise won't, it goes further and becomes a clot. Sorry, where was I there? With the antibodies. Oh, the antibody. Um, so that should drain out and you stop clotting and that's what saves you but in our cases it's positive so i just my body is source my blood is producing this antibody mm -hmm. that's causing clotting issues mm -hmm. and until such times as they can figure out a way to switch that off you know and we're in a bad way with this because they can't change the effects of it mm -hmm. so therefore we need to try and switch this off 
should we be at a level where antibodies are getting messed about with? You know, I was, I says a lot a, a, a while back that this is Jerome therapy, mm-hmm. gene therapy, and it is. Aye. It alters your DNA, and people argued with me and I, the abuse I took for that, and a lot of it came from the medical profession. Mm-hmm. That's the bit that got me. People that should know better, and when I say to them, go and look it up and see, you'll see that I'm not telling you anything that's that's not true. That this antibody at cellular level. So therefore, it doesn't matter what you give me mm-hmm. until right. you figure out a way of switching that switch Aye. off again. And that's the similar to the PF with the, the spike protein. Aye. It's the exact same situation, only it's a different thing. That's the one I took. The problem know. is people are trying to fix themselves mm-hmm. by using different protocols that other people have found benefits with. Mm-hmm. That's fine if you've stopped, if you've tapped to switch the, the tap off at the tap, at the, at the source, you've got name air coming in so you can clean out the system. Aye. But what's happening is people are putting this into their system and trying to clean out their system. And meanwhile, at the source, it's just constantly producing. And until such times as they switch that off, and that's where a lot of the work seems to be at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, they're kind of looking to try to block the spike protein. If they can get that, the other protocols should work clearing mm-hmm. out the system. Yeah. We found that what works best is natural. So, but- Anything that's the natural Aye. remedies seem to be doing all the best. And uh, the one, the two things, was particularly one drug that was ridiculed, shot down, people lost their jobs over it, people lost their license over it. And I, I'll never understand, because that drug had been on the market for over 50 years. It's up there with penicillin as being so versatile. They call penicillin the wonder drug, no. the medical drug. That's what they call this as well. Why? And yeah, there is a version of it that's used in animals, mm-hmm. but it's mostly used for what it is. Mm-hmm. And yet, they shut that down. Was that the was that the Donald, Donald Trump one? Yeah, aye, ivermectin. Aye, it's aye. fifty years of safety protocols. Mm-hmm. It's up there with the most safest dog now. It's up there mm-hmm. with aspirin. Aye. People die with aspirin. Don't don't like kid yourself. Aye. I mean, I now know that there's no such a thing as a safe medical product. No, none. You're yeah. taking a risk every right. time you take anything. Mm-hmm. That's fine if you knew what that risk was before you went into it. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aye. Nobody told me I was going to come out. No. <sighs> safe and effective. Yeah. Aye. You know, I mean, I know it's more than neither safe mm-hmm. and they're neither effective. Aye. And yet, as I say, we started with 20 million life saved. And this whole paragraph glad that we used to get, now we're down to safe. Aye. Thing is, but it's so you must have been you 57 at the time or 56 56 at the time, but it wasn't it just it wasn't the older generation, it was it was affecting, there was young people. This is what's really driving me nuts as people say, Oh, it's the old people. Mm-hmm. No, we've already lost yeah. the majority of our old people with what they did in the care homes. That's a whole different ball game. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was I can honestly horrible. say that if, the, if what happened in this, the care homes doesn't bring down the government mm-hmm. and doesn't bring people to the streets, I'm wasting my time. Aye. And this is, in many ways, is worse mm. because the scale of it. What they did in the care homes... Negligence on it. Yeah. Gross. I'm sorry, it's just hospitals as well, you know, mm. putting two gloves with warm water in them Aye. on someone as they passed. So mm-hmm. they felt as if somebody was holding their hands. That's no way in this planet any human being should go. Serious, yeah. Yeah. Fuck it, hell. I don't know that. But I, I don't know. Your mum, she's a nurse. I don't know. And some of Aaron's, one of Aaron's pals is a nurse. And I, I, I see what I'd seen. I, I, I'll not mention her name because she doesn't want her name mentioned. But I seen her face during this shit time when she was working there, and I. And I Mm-hmm. The, the soles on her face and I just I remember saying I think we actually spoke about it and I was like how the fuck are they? some of these nurses are 20, 21 and all that how the fuck are they going to get over mm-hmm. that Men, get, I don't think because well. I mean yeah. I mean they're going about soldiers in PTSD my Gemma was a nurse as well right okay Gemma <laughs> Gemma as well but I'm serious like see 10 years down the line and is everybody going to forget about us because they're not you're not. No. Is, is everybody else that's not been affected? They just go crack on because there's going to be something else to fucking well, that, that's fight That's where over. we are. There's a mental health catastrophe. Mm-hmm. 
going on in the background. Aye. We already see the remnants of it. A lot of mental health was affected in the last three years. Mm -hmm. The reality of when people realise that they've been sold and given a lie, mm -hmm. that mentality is going to affect an awful lot of people mentally. Mm -hmm. And I do fear. I really genuinely fear. Mm -hmm. As I say, we have lost 16 people already. We'll lose more. I know we'll lose more. Mm -hmm. But when this all comes out, we're going to lose even more people. Because mm -hmm. people bought into this yes. with their souls to find out, wait a minute, this government, mm -hmm. these people lied. And I'm, well, I've, I came for accounting. I grew up with everybody's corrupt, the corruption goes on. So did I think that the government corrupt? Yeah, I thought I always thought it was an element of corruption in government and other these big companies. Did I think it would have went to this level? Never in my mm -hmm. wildest dreams mm -hmm. did I think any government or pharmaceutical company would allow this to happen. Mm -hmm. But here we are. And people are still walking about as if it's, well, it's all normal. It is mad, it? Isn't it? The only difference this time, this has been going on, as I say, since the thalidomide scandal. Right. It took 40 years for the people to get their cases recognised, and another 20 to get any kind of support. Mm. 60 years. This is ridiculous, you know. And then you go to the AIDS, you know, the haemophilia, mm. take 30 years, then 40 years, and you come all the way down, and here we are. And people say to me, do, do, does that know that get you down? Mm. It can do. But here's the way I look at it. These people took 40 years to get recognition. Mm -hmm. We managed to get acknowledgement and recognition within 15 months. Good. Mm -hmm. And how would that happen? With this thing that we're doing just now. Aye. That was the only way. People say social media is a lot of things. Yeah, I blame it for a lot of the grief I've took. Yep. But it's allowed me to, to keep going to a platform. It's a tool, right? Exactly. It's just to, to speak. To get that Aye. message out. Aye. You know... I'm not here to save you. Mm -hmm. I can't save you. I'm not going to tell you whether you're an adult. Mm -hmm. I've never told an adult what to do. Mm -hmm. You make your own decision. What I'm here to tell you is that when it goes wrong, you are on your own. Mm -hmm. You're abandoned. You lose everything. You know, I, I say to somebody the other day, I lost just almost everything when this happened to me. I've lost even more with in the last three years by how I've reacted or responded to it. I've lost family. I've lost friends. You know, I'm down to, in my ways, my wife, my two daughters, and a couple of friends. That's who I trust. Yeah, I can understand that. I'm friendly with a lot of people, yeah. but I've been hurt so many times. Mm. You can only take so much pain before you put walls up and say, nobody's ever getting in there. And that's where I am. And that's terrible that I should be put in that place mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. that's a self-surviving thing. But I have to put myself there because when you have faced some of the demons we all face, yeah. we all face demons in our life. But when most of the, th the events in our life, something happens and you get to move on, life goes on. Life stopped. Mm. It's not just the fact that life stopped because you lost your leg. Life stops because nobody wants to acknowledge you. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to help you, support you. And as I say, would now, if I got all the help and support I needed, I'd just disappear. I'd love to, but that's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. Because when you find out it's not just this horrific scandal, there's so many others mm -hmm. that deserve our attention, mm -hmm. people, their voices to be heard. And that's where social media has helped us. Yep. You know, it's, we can know, they, they can't silence us. They can silence me to a certain no. level. I'm probably, as I said, the most restricted man. No, so you're not quite encouraging though. Let's see if it, when you kind of decided that you were going to take up this fight against the, what is? the, the, the companies of what, what they are. But you look at where you've came and where you're now, like you're standing in Buchanan Gallery steps getting an address to about 200 people or something like that, maybe more. You're going down to meet celebrities down in England with, was it Mark Letizia? 
He's turned it to be a good pal. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, look man. how far you've came. Genuinely, yeah. one of the nicest guys. What Genuinely, a fella, man. lovely, lovely fella. Um, I speak more to his wife and I do him. I'm not yeah. lie. <laughs> um, lovely guy. Um, what you see is what you get. Aye. He's exactly mm-hmm. the. Um, and I'm not a fat ball person. Mm-hmm. And I say this a, a lot. I actually insulted him. I actually did phone him and apologise. <laughs> we met him in Edinburgh for, he, he did his an evening with, with Matt and we went to see him and we went for a meal after it. And somebody mentioned football. And I'm not a great football. Boxing, I martial arts, I'll talk all day. Mm-hmm. Boxing, football, I watch it and enjoy it, but I'm not a mm-hmm. football person. Aye. And somebody asked the best goal I'd ever saw. And I said, Gascoigne Aye. against Scotland. And he never said anything. No, it was a good goal. And we got him, John. John Watt mm-hmm. sent me a clip. He said, I think you should have a look at this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I watched it. And as soon as I finished watching it, I left the phone. Nice. I phoned him. I said, I owe you an apology, mate. And he went, <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? I'm not done anything. I mean, the gas going goal. And he went, I said, I've just saw a clip. You put, <laughs> there's at least three of your goals that put that to absolute crying shame. There's so a volley. One, it was a volley. I can't mean who it was uh, against. The, the one he, he actually lobs a player, uh, uh, lobs another player. Smashes and it. And as it comes down after he's lobbed it for the second player, he volleys it in the top corner. Uh, and I see that know. and Tony Abo's goal will never leave me. Oh, ever. No, he, but he, he's kind of going down the route where he's wanting to be a lot more natural as well. He's, he's into his CBD and that as well, isn't he? And he's, it, it's funny because when he first advertised that I phoned him um, and I said to him any good this stuff mm. I wasn't sure uh, and he said oh I, I wouldn't advertise it I haven't tried and I've tried it he told me and it worked and obviously I have a a, a background prevalence in that area shall we say yeah I'm pretty clever though uh, yeah, like that. Uh, so obviously I said obviously Mm-hmm. I'll give it a try and I, I got a, I got the oil and he sent me up the gummy bears mm-hmm. I can testify the gummy bears if, right. if you're struggling for sleep take two gummy bears you've got a crack next you will, you, and you'll wake you, up in the morning fine sleeping? I end up I get one of the vape pens so See, that, I, I, that's I'm, amazing I'm fucking you sleeping you're a terrible sleeper aren't you yeah, I'm, a, I'm a horrible sleeper See, I went <sighs> six days when you sleep fuck's sake so that hours. drive you mental Aye. they came in and gave me uh, sleeping tablets in a hospital Yes. Mm. obviously by this point I'm now questioning everything mm-hmm. what's that for so I've got two extra tablets sleeping tablets didn't ask for sleeping tablets a doctor says you've got insomnia because <laughs> you're not sleeping and I said I'm not sleeping because I only sleep four hours a day at the best mm-hmm. I'm a, I go out and do a full day's work mm-hmm. and come back and I go out and do my right thing I said so I spend a huge amount of energy through the day I'm sitting here doing mm-hmm. nothing Aye. Aye. so I don't need a lot of sleep Aye. and he's like no no so they gave me these sleeping tablets and the nurse was to check me on there everywhere and she came in I, I must have been about four and I'm three four yeah. in the morning I've not I've sat my pair of earphones on and I've got my shirt and I'm sitting I've got Northern Soul on yeah. in my head I'm on the dance floor <laughs> and I'm actually the moves are gone <laughs> and no no when your eyes are shutting you be careful <laughs> And send somebody's in front of you and open my eyes and this nurse is with a weird look to me what the hell are you then? She says, what are you doing? I says, I'm dancing. And she says, what? I said, I'm dancing. I've got another soul and you're in my dance floor. Going to get off it. She went, aye, right. There's no way she went. So she was still on me the, the, the next morning or doing the rounds mm-hmm. and the, the consultant said, ah, Mr. Mitchell, how did you sleep? She went, how did he sleep? He danced all night on that flare. <laughs> and he looked, and I went, nah, I said, I don't have insomnia. He says, no, prescribe me something. I mm-hmm. took the tablets, but I'm not taking them again. Uh-huh. And it, it, to be fair, he didn't. Um, I think they now know that if I say, I don't just say things because I, 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 I want to be awkward. Uh-huh. You know, no, why, why are you giving me them? Mm-hmm. It's like the amount of drugs I was on when I first came out was frightening. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've managed to get to a level Good. where I'm happy enough with that. Good. I've taken 60 tablets in the morning. Six, six, six zero? 60 in the morning. How, how can I? That's terrible, man. Mm-hmm. How can a doctor prescribe? Do you know what? I'm just going to give you six, must be taking 60 tablets. I thought it's steroids. Steroids only come in five milligram tablets yeah. because they're so strong yeah. and they're, they're so dangerous. Yeah. So. Uh, to get a high dosage mm-hmm. that I needed it to, that was to obviously try and clear out some of what was going on because they found out that that was, that was the key to saving mm-hmm. the fits mm-hmm. wasn't they thought it was heparin which is a drug that they would give because fits is very similar 
to a couple of other conditions mm. that's thrombotic. And you automatically, if, if, if I was a vascular surgeon and you presented with my symptoms, I'd automatically went and go heparin. Mm -hmm. So I'll never slate them for them, but they tried. Mm. And unfortunately, heparin was not putting petrol into fire. Aye. So I, I, apparently I was, I was the first, or if I'm not, the, the, the first, among the one of the first to be given steroids, and that's what saved me. And that was the only thing that saved me, because that shuts the clotting down right. at source. So you allowed the body then to clear the system out Aye. and try and rebuild. The damage is done, you know, I'm sure. waiting various scans, one in the brain, one in the rest of this leg, because the calf muscle just is it, cramped permanently. Right, okay. Um, which is no fun when you're trying to do anything. Of course. Cramp's wonderful. Getting cramp in a leg, you've no go. That was one to ask you about aye, phantom, phantom stuff. Aye. That's a real thing. Aye. Is it, aye? Aye, yeah. sure. There's a lot of squad. You've got two. two. We've, we've got a pal that, that lost both of his legs in Afghan, and he was telling us that he was still... Gal. All right, aye, aye. Gal, aye, aye. He's still getting itchy feet, but he's <laughs> no got feet. Aye. That's fucking mad. It's dying. trying to explain that to somebody. That's the phantom limb symptoms. Mm. Aye. That's what I've got, same as that. Aye. That's a better thing to have. The symptoms are where you still think sometimes the leg's still there, you get itches and cramps and Aye. pulses mm -hmm. and things like that. The syndrome tends to be where the the body remembers the trauma. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different ball game. Uh, I spoke to a, a guy who he had the, the syndrome and it was permanent cramp. Constant? Oh, how do you how do you take that? You can. I had sat with an itch there, knowing mm -hmm. that itch was there, and couldn't get it for three days. Like you've when it happens, you've got to try and go into there and, and, and beat it. Aye, mm -hmm. unlock aye. the door, but you don't know that door's you got all the trauma. Aye, you don't that. know what you need to open up. For you the don't know what the door is. Aye. If you know what I mean. You don't know what the door is, so you're kind of trying to think, what can I do? Before, before we, we, we don't, I don't want to, I want to kind of finish on where you're going. But before I do that, I've got a question I want to ask you. It's, see, obviously when this was going on, are, are you scared? Of, see, I have it happened to you. Do you have fear of like, anything else that might come out of this? No, not knowing, knowing your journey, I mean, from from your, your trauma and that, like see how you were saying, you were in a bad place, depression. I mean, ask... <laughs> I, I, it's just something that's played in my mind. If 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 trauma has caused, like, if there's an injury that's caused trauma, does do you ever get scared, or do you, do you just do you just need to accept that this has happened and now I need to be positive and go forward with it? Or does, is there fear in there? Where I am, um, I think being a scaffold, I, I, I didn't. Have, I wasn't one of the people that had a lot of fears previously, and being a scaffold, I reduced their fears even less to a certain extent. But I think when somebody tells you that you're unlikely to open your eyes again, mm -hmm. and when mm. you do open your eyes again, something something changes in you. You've got no fear because there's nothing to fear. Mm. That's what I was kind of trying to get. At. Are you right. are you at the point of fuck this? Is, there's no point anymore. I've been through the worst day. No, no, it's well, just a, a I read, well, yeah, my health is going to get worse. There's no argument with that. That's going to deteriorate to what level and how quick. We don't know. That's the way I look at that is we'll deal with that when it happens. Mm. Um, there's no point in me sitting worrying about what I don't know is coming. With regards to the the, the whole sort of a, the fear, I think that's a very dangerous thing that happens when you're put in that position mm. and told, you're not surviving this and you yeah. think you're not surviving it. When you open your eyes and you go, do you know what? There's nothing really to be scared of. So I don't fear death, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. Huh? I fear living. And sometimes, yeah. and oh, maybe some ways I suppose that is honest that's answer. relatable for a lot of people. Mm. So that is. You know, yeah, I fear living. I fear the future that's ahead of me. Yeah. I, I, I know for a fact that I, I cannot and will not accept that this is going to take 20 years to solve for people. I can't. No. I don't, because no. I don't have 20 years. That's it, that's, what, that's it, it's good, can't. You know, if, I know I don't have 20 years. If yeah. the fight, if you give the fight up, and, or if you slow the fight down, you may as well gain it up. Mm -hmm. That's what I was, that's what I like, you kind of finish us on. Is, I, is, well, here's the thing. You, I can walk away tomorrow, 
and it won't make my, one blind bit of difference. Yeah. But that doesn't work for me because ultimately I didn't set out to be here sitting talking to you guys no. or anybody else. You just put, you used, they put me in this position. Now you reap the benefits and you sow the fucking rewards of that. I will keep going. I've got nothing else to do in my life. Mm. What else have I got to do? My no, day. I know. No, no, it's, anyway, that's, it, it's, it's respectable that, that, as you say there, you, you can just say, ah, come by. Can't be bothered with us. I'm just going to go and, and, and keep it quiet. But it's more, for me, it's not about me. This is bigger Aye, than me. It's it right. really is bigger than me. It's more important than mm -hmm. what happens to me. This is about changing what's right. Yeah. Aye. And ultimately, if I go with my morals, standards, ethics, and principles that I set when I first come in the door, that's the way I'm going out the door. Mm -hmm. No doing that for you. I'm not doing it for you. Yeah. I'm, doing, it for you. I'm doing that for excuse me. I'm right. doing that for me. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. yeah, I'm a proud. I don't know if it's pride. I just think it's if you set things and you know you stick to them, that's what makes you happy. Purpose, isn't it? I know what Purpose, makes me yeah. happy. So I'm not gonna change what makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I know what makes me unhappy. And I can only deal with what I can deal with in front of me. Will I spend the rest of my days fighting some sort of a cause? Yeah. But right. that's obvious because there's just so many of them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that's the bit that gets me. You know, they keep saying people are rare. What's rare in reality is somebody being honest and saying, see this whole thing? Yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. This is ordinary human beings, ordinary people's lives that we are destroying and get think that we're going to walk away from. Mm -hmm. I want this to mean something. I don't want just to be another number or a statistic. I want someday, someday. Do you remember that guy that wouldn't let them go? Yeah, I know. That's... Aye. My mother didn't call me the most thrown, stubborn, awkward <laughs> bastard she'd ever clapped eyes on. And she didn't always say it with love. Aye. And now that she's no longer here, I have to honour that mm -hmm. in my mind. Aye. Plus the fact my mother was a barmaid for 60 years and she knew what a bastard could be like. Mm. So Aye. I'll take her word for it. Aye, but I mean, we could, we could, have, we could have, honestly, you could talk about this for hours and hours, but it's... It's, it's an insight for, for me as well. It's out there, but... There's so many levels of this. This is the problem mm -hmm. that when we sit down to talk about it, um, if you try and do a general, you could be yeah. here for six hours mm -hmm. and still look I feel like I could listen to you all night no, about this because I've, I'm usually quite no, talkative on these things and... I know, I'm full of well, he shouldn't say very little. You've said very little. Do I do ask questions? I'm just no, tuning in on your yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. Usually... The, no, I'm in awe here. I'm actually in awe of your aye. story. I think well, it's, don't... Don't be annoying me because at the end of the day, I'm no different for you. I'm not any better than you. Uh, the stories, the, uh, the, the story you've got is... The story's is, horrific. It's, it's aye, horrific. The story is horrific and it has to be told. To hear it and you think, fucking hell, it has man, to be told. That, is, that is unreal. I'm not... Uh, well, <clears throat> but the way you're fighting it and all, yeah. it's, but it's brilliant. Me, that's just been me all my life. It's, it's respect. You know, I've never... See anything I set out to achieve in life? I've achieved it. Aye. And that's no being arrogant. Mm -hmm. I set out to be what I wanted to be. I go out there. I set where I wanted to go in life. I go out there. I believe everybody did that when they were young. Mm -hmm. Apparently, no. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a bit of a freak that way. I thought and thought about what, 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 what kind of man I wanted to be. No kind of future. That, I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah. You decide what you want to be. Um... I don't judge you in my standards. I judge people in their standards because mm -hmm. I know my standards are higher. And that's not being arrogant. My, my standards were set higher for a reason because I wanted to, if I'm going to dress to that level, then I want to be to that level. Mm -hmm. Positivity is a way of life. Being a mod, I call it a way of life, but yeah. positivity is a way of life. Mm -hmm. You get to choose how you react to anything. Mm -hmm. That's your call. Yeah. You know, you guys are ex, you're ex military. Ah, we're all ex military. military. Mm -hmm. You have seen and dealt with a lot of shit. Let's not kid ourselves. So, you will all have PTSD the same as I have, and you'll have it for the rest of your days. Right. That stuff doesn't go away. All the dark shit that's in there doesn't go away. All you do is learn to flavor it a wee bit better, tidy it a wee bit better, process it. I'm not anything special. I'm just an ordinary working class guy that's been put in a fucking horrible place. Aye. That's all I am. Mm -hmm. Who I think 
Well, you're about ex-military. I'm going to say everyone, you are a fighter, not a flighter. Mm -hmm. Aye, it's, right, it goes aye. Aye. And everybody in life, that's what it comes down to. And I found out when I was about five, six year old that I was a fighter and not a flighter. I loved fighting. Mm -hmm. I loved rolling about the streets. I loved in, in a boxing ring. I loved the job. standing on doors, doing security at concerts. I loved all of that. I loved doing the martial arts, fighting guys that I shouldn't get anywhere near. And that arrogance of you ain't you're good, you ain't me yet. Yeah, I, I loved all that, but that's a, a choice that I make. Mm -hmm. It's you know, so if you're a fighter, I've accepted that that's what I am. Yeah, Aye. so therefore, I didn't see you stand up and fight everything, but you fight for what's right, of course. Aye. I think that's the message to take Aye. away for us is, is fight for what's Aye. right, and don't give up the fight either, innit? No, no, we've ran a clock down again, Aye. becoming a, a recurrence, but. Uh, is there any news to what I had before? Oh, I just have uh, much respect to you, mate. No, thank you, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming on. Um, um, just what I had, first aid, what is it? Mental health first aider. Went down a course last week. So obviously this is a mental health podcast, so... It's mental health week, I know, isn't it? Mental health week. So if anybody's got any problems, obviously, as usual, just message the, the page. and Might not have the answers, but I can be in here and help as many people as possible. And the same goes for anybody out there that wants to reach out to me yeah. in any way that yeah. I can help. I'm not saying I've got the answers. Over the last three years, I've ended up in contact with a lot of people that have got answers for other things. people that uh, didn't have answers for me, if that yeah. makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So that helps. Mental health is vital. Yes. Because every morning you got up and make the decision as to whether to finish that day or not to finish that day. Mm. We all right. have that. Right. Well, Alex, I, I, I think, think you. you need to keep bringing the noise. As, as you say, I don't think you should not go quiet over. I know you won't. But um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, I believe in your fight. I really do. I think we all do. Uh, I just, I hope he's don't ever get up, and I hope he's get where he's going with it. But it's. I don't think I'm. I'm going to be allowed to now. Right, so I don't. I, that I, makes I, I can't he, because it needs to keep. Uh, people um, need. There's people out there that need people to fight for them. And I, that, it's just the way well, life is, isn't it? Are. People say, you know, I'm not fit, strong enough to do what you're doing. I say, no, you do what you need to. Right. You know, everybody does what they do. That because let's be honest, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this for. No, that's true. You and know, so honestly, I'd love to. We probably, well, I can't. We probably end up on your back on. Maybe you're selling John. I might be getting part two. You're selling John. Part two, three, and four. I don't know. Uh, but we're, we'll need that bit because. Um, but uh, it's, been, it's been brilliant, and uh, we need to get a quick shout out our sponsor again, John. There a bit. Allied Maritime Solutions, best fucking people in the sector for cleaning, safety, anything, and they're run by a big handsome ex Scots guardsman. So he's no big. He's not he's handsome. Getting, he's getting wider, isn't he? What? Ah, he's <laughs> Scotch. Scotch guard. No, we're well, starting somewhere. <laughs> 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 Big shout out to Paul here at the Green Room and all. He's McGowan Fitness. What needs magic for us up here? This is where we, we, this is your sanctuary up here. Um, I and big shout out to Div doing it. McGowan's Fitness is still doing his bit for the community and keeping it all going. I think that's vital. So, again, oh, this has been brilliant, mate. It's very interesting. It, it's, it's, it got me interested when we found out we're having you on. I came up, I became a bit addicted to kind of looking into it. So I thank you for opening my eyes to quite a bit as well. So aye, nice this team. has been brilliant and um that's a nail on a fish. <laughs>